We had a lot of good news yesterday. The imminent indictments of Donald Trump by way of Jack Smith and the DOJ. We heard that Steve Bannon was subpoenaed by the DOJ. Yeah, he's not going to ignore that one. But we got some more good news today. You see, we heard about the death of Pat Robertson. Now, I know you'll probably say, Mike, how dare you celebrate the death of another human being? But hear me out on this. First of all, Pat Robertson was 93 years old. He had a good run, about fucking time. But you also have to understand that Pat Robertson was one of the originators of this radical right connected to the media and politics. He started the Christian Broadcasting Network in 1960, and every year he gained power and he gained money. He had the 700 Club, a bunch of other things. Now, Pat Robertson wasn't content with grifting his flock. He had to get involved in politics, so much so that he ran for president against Ronald Reagan. Imagine that. He lost to Ronald Reagan. People believe that he was worse than Ronald Reagan. <laughs> That's a fucking problem. But as time went on and his power continued and his money grew, he stayed in politics. And this was where the radical right, the evangelicals, kind of started taking control of our politics. You also need to know he was a big-time Trump humper. Oh, he loved Donald Trump, and in his waning years, his shit, the things he said, became crazier and crazier. This guy may have been the originator of the radical right, the religious right, involved in politics and media. He may be the very reason we are here today, so the fact that he's gone is a positive thing to me. I'm trying to imagine what it would be like when Pat Robertson passes on and goes to see his maker. <laughs> I can imagine him walking up to the pearly gates and his maker saying, yeah, don't unpack. You're not going to be here long. But bitch, we need to talk. <laughs>